Welcome back to Free Code Camp's JSON APIs and AJAX section. This is convert JSON data to HTML. And let's read it. It says, now that we're getting data from a JSON API, let's display it in our HTML. We can use the dot for each method to loop through our data and modify our HTML elements. First, let's declare an HTML variable with var HTML is assigned an empty string. And as you can see, they did it here. Then let's loop through our JSON, adding more HTML to that variable. When the loop is finished, we'll render it. Here's the code that does this. So if we go ahead and copy this, we can paste here. Looks kind of messy. Let us do this. Like it says here, what this is doing is it's going to loop through the JSON, adding HTML to that variable, to this empty string, and then we render it. So we have our git JSON request here that happens when we click the git message button. When that button's clicked, we make a request and then that response is inside of this JSON. We create an empty string variable HTML and then we use this for each to loop through that JSON, which has pretty much three objects in there. So this for each is going to go through those three. Let us get this get message just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. There's ID 0, 1, and 2. So this for each will go through those three. But once it's going through them, we also want to go through the inside of the first, the inside of the second, and the inside of the third to print out everything. So once we go into this for each, we create a variable called keys, which is going to hold a value for us. Our HTML will have a div added to it each time through the three loops. So this will create three divs. The first time around, we enter in keys dot for each. So now we're going through that first JSON object and each key within there, ID being the first, image link second, alt text third, code names fourth, will all be printed on here in this inner for each loop. The HTML will also have added to it inside of this div a strong tag with the key which at that point in the iteration will be ID plus the value of whatever key we're on. That's what the value is here and then it goes back in through the loop and goes into the second key image link and it runs the same HTML plus equals strong plus key which is going to be image link ends the strong tag and then it also adds the value of whatever key we are on which will give us this and it goes over and over until it ends it'll come out of the inner for each loop and run this HTML closing this div and going back up to the top to the outer for each and doing the same process for the second and then the third. And that's really all this code is doing. It's organizing our JSON in a much more human readable way. So if we run this now, we can see that we did pass. And as it says down here, all called for is the message box should have something in it. And it does. So that is it for this lesson. I shall see you guys on the next one.